there, how are you doing and welcome back. Okay, in the last few videos we have talked about setting up, getting your domain name, registering your domain name, setting up your hosting company and now what I want to talk about is linking your domain name with your hosting company so that we can get you live on the web. So before I go over to the web and show you exactly how to link your domain name with your hosting company, let me just give you a, a short diagram of how it all works. So first of all, you've got your local computer. OK, so let's imagine we've got some graphics that we want to get live on the web. So your computer at the moment houses those graphics. Maybe they are JPEG files or PNG files or whatever they currently are on your local computer. But they're sitting there and they are available to only you and you alone. OK, so what we need to do first of all is we need to create our domain name. So we've just created create a website on facebook.com. We've just registered that domain name. So what I want you to imagine is that that domain is this whole top drawer here. Okay, imagine that we've just written a big white label on the front here and we've put create a website on facebook.com. Okay? And that is this whole top drawer. Ignore the rest of them, they're all empty. Okay? That's this whole top drawer. So we've put anything that we've got like graphics or images or articles or anything that we want to go live on the web under the domain how to create a website on facebook.com will all go in this top drawer here this file if you like okay then the files are hosted on servers so for instance I've been talking about HostGator and HostGator has a big bank of servers and so our file, how to create a website on facebook.com, is stored on this big bank of servers. So just imagine, imagine these servers are like a big storage facility and your filing cabinets are going in that big storage facility. OK, so let's recap. Here we've got our local files. What we're going to do is we're going to store those local files under our, our, our big file here called how to create a website on facebook.com or whatever your domain name is, okay? We're then going to take our filing cabinets and we're going to store them within our big storage facility, which in this case is HostGator, okay? And once they're stored within that big storage facility, then they are available and accessible for anybody else to have a look at on the World Wide Web. So that is how it works, yeah, about getting, getting the information from your local computer all the way through up and live onto the world wide web okay now I don't want to confuse you but there are a couple of ways that we can take our um, files from our local computer and put them into our filing cabinet okay and that's called transferring the files from our local computer into our filing cabinet if you've ever heard the expression FTP that means file transfer protocol and there are there is software that you can download um, which allows you to transfer your files between your computer and your filing cabinet okay which is hosted on HostGator we for this exercise are going to be using WordPress OK, so we are going to be able to install WordPress directly from our hosting company. And then WordPress will go in here in our filing cabinet underneath our domain name. Now, I know that's probably getting a little bit confusing. So what I want to do now is go over and show you how we link our domain name with our servers so that we know right from day one our filing cabinet is created within our storage facility. OK, we know that create a website on Facebook.com exists within our hosting company and that is therefore accessible to the World Wide Web. And all we then need to do is start filling it with files. OK, so let's go over and do that now. OK, so here we are in our GoDaddy account. If you are following along, do just make sure you go and log in until you're, you're at this page, which shows your domain name. OK, and then when it shows your domain name, just click on that domain name. And that's going to take you through to this page. OK, so this is all your domain information and everything here to do with your domain name. And what we want to do is we want to get out that email I told you about in the last video where I said to you that, that uh, you're going to be sent your name servers from your hosting company. 
okay so once you've logged on and registered uh, if you've gone with HostGator they will have sent you an email any other hosting company will have sent you an email giving you two name servers okay and then over here you can see there's this little button here that says name servers and we can go there but actually if you notice down here it also says name servers here as well and set name servers so this is exactly what we want to do we want to set our name servers so if you click on set name servers okay and if you simply click on I have specific name servers for my domains okay I have specific name servers for my domains it's this last one here number four all right and we are going to change these two so in your email you will have received two name servers and they will be called name server one and name server two and you simply go in and delete the name servers that are there and you go in and replace them with your name servers that you've been given by your hosting company and then you click OK. OK? So I'll just go and do that now. And that's it guys. It's come up saying your changes have been submitted. It takes a couple of hours. It may take 48 hours, whatever. Um, but that is job done. You have now submitted your domain to your hosting company um, within 2 to 48 hours. That will have been registered with your hosting company. Um, and basically your hosting company will now be set up with your main domain okay and we can now go in once that's all set up and working we will be able to go in and um, actually install WordPress onto that domain all right so that is basically what we are going to do next we are going to go on and we are going to install WordPress we're going to check that your domain name is all registered fine and that you're all up and running and then we're going to install WordPress so I will see you on the next video cheers guys